what's going on everybody we are back for another episode review of pose this is season two episode three butterfly cocoon before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet make sure you subscribe to my channel let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever i upload new content so let's get right into it y'all i love tonight's episode i love every episode of pose but of course it was good okay so it started off um Angel is at Ford Modeling, and she's doing an interview with Miss Ford on why she feels she should be the new fresh face of the 90s. And, of course, Blanca's like, well, you know, my friends always can rely on me, and I'm always there giving good advice, and yada, yada, yada. And so she's like, well, I think you should really, really ask me because I'm, I represent the people who have been thrown away and who was told that you aren't good enough and who are told that you will never amount to anything and be anything. And so she went in there, and she just killed her little old interview away. Whatever, right so after that she ends up going to the Vogue and I'm um, not going to the Vogue she ends up going to the ball and she walks in right on time like she always does ready to serve the people and the category um, the category was film runway like film queen denim runway something like that so she got out there and the hello jordash and jabo it looks like and she got out there and she slayed the people of course and she got a first place trophy like she always does because bitch is angel angel come on now so she ends up um later on that night they go back to the house and she ends up getting a call that she actually does not get picked for Ford modeling and of course Blanca Blanca goes in like a regular mama she's like uh -uh, what that bitch means she don't want my baby what get the home on the phone I cuss her ass out right now so Angel's like look you know what I'm sick of you and your scheming and your little ideas and this that and the other so Blanca I mean Angel's just really mad at Blanca because she feels like it's her fault that she didn't get the she's just in her feelings or whatever moving on from that okay so blind i mean poppy and angel they walking in the park or whatever right they having like this little cute romantical scene in the park so finally after what this is the third episode they finally kiss which i was just like ah oh, thank you i was waiting on these motherfuckers to kiss because it's like you just been seeing it just like and then, and then boom it finally happened and i was so goddamn happy for them to kiss so Angel was kind of feeling a little something, something down there. Ladies, you know, you get the little ting like, oh, shit, you gonna get a room? And he was like, no, because you know what? I'm feeling you. I ain't trying to rush this. I'll wait all day for you. I've been waiting for a girl like you. Girl, you the girl of my motherfucking dreams. Poppy. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> Woo, Poppy. Oh my gosh. Poppy, Poppy Chulo. He had me with that goddamn. And I was like, damn, Poppy. Poppy. Anyway, so Electra Abundance. I had to take notes on this one because it was a lot going on in this next one, right? So Electra Abundance. She's over there at Hell's, what is it? Hell's Fire, Hell's Club, Hell's Dungeon, wherever, wherever little sex dungeon is that she works at, right? And so she got her little white slave that's sitting there. He comes in and he ready to get it cracking with the little nose bump thing. Cause he, you know, he trying to stay rock hard and go all dog on night, right? And so Electra's like, I told you last time I don't fuck with drugs like that. And I don't need you fucking with drugs like that. He like, look here, I'm willing to pay you whatever I pay you, plus some, double some. Like, what's up? We trying to get this thing cracking and what's up? Electra's like, all right, well, fuck it then. Give me the money. So she ties him up. She got this nigga damn near hog tied. Legs up in the goddamn air. Legs to the moon. He got this mask on his face or whatever, right? So he's like, well, come back in 20 minutes because I want to wait for this shit to like really kick in. Really, really, really kick in. She's like, all right, cool, whatever. So she go out, girl. She out there following the nails. They out there eating kolaches and shit. Just wait for 20 minutes to pass. 20 minutes later, she come back in. She like, all right, motherfucker, you ready? We about to get this thing popping. Well... Nigga, hello, acknowledge me, let me know that you know I'm in the motherfucking house. Girl, when I tell you, she goes over there, pulls out the mask of the man, the motherfucker is dead. He choked on his own fucking vomit. Probably OD from whatever drugs that he was snorting, but the motherfucker is laying there. Legs up, ass wide, dead. Dead to the bed. That shit was fucking crazy. <laughs> 
So she ends up running up out of there because she's like, oh shit, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? So she runs out of there. First place she runs to, she runs to Blanca, of course, because you know Blanca gonna always have your back. So what's the block? What's the first thing Blanca say do? Blanca say, call the police. Let you like, bitch, I done run over here to, for you to tell me to call the bitch. No! If I'd have goddamn known that she was gonna say that, I'd have took my ass to Candy House. Blanca telling her, like, bitch, you didn't do nothing wrong. He died on his own trying to get his zing zing and all that, bitch. You ain't had nothing to do with that. Electra like, bitch, it don't matter. We transsexuals. They gonna kill us. They gonna throw away the key, bitch. No, no. Matter of fact, to hell with you. I'm gonna go to Candy House. So she leave up out of there and um, Block like, no, bitch, I'm gonna go with you. I need to know what the fuck is going on. I'm gonna go with you. So girl, they run up out of there and they end up going over looking for Candy, right? Candy working up in a goddamn strip club, bitch. She actually look cute, too. This the first time because she had like the little long, kinky kinkiness in her hair. That's the first time I can actually say Candy was cute. She was snatched. She was put together. But the bitch was on the pole. Why you have to be on the pole to look all good and put together, Candy? That's neither here nor there. But Candy tells her the same thing. She's like, look, we can't go, y'all can't go run into the cops because they see us as transsexuals and they will just throw our ass in jail. It don't matter. We can sit there and we can be recording somebody being killed. We ain't had nothing to do with the shit. They still gonna lock our goddamn ass up for that. But look here. I can't be going around everywhere trying to help you lock up motherfuckers, but I know a bitch that can. So let's go ahead and go over here and we can see what the fuck can do with that. So Blanca, Candy, um, Electra. They all go and see one of Candy's homegirl. Candy homegirl, she working over there on a the whole stroll, probably over there on Hunter's Point, some goddamn where. Y'all are have y'all seen that movie Pimps Up Hoes Down? If you've not seen that movie, look at Pimps Up Hoes Down. They talk about the hoes over there on Hunter's on Hunter's Point. Yeah. My daddy and my auntie from New York. So they told me all about the hoes over there on Hunter's Point. Anywho, so the um the hoe that's over there on the hoe stroll tells them the same thing. Like, look, y'all can't go to the popos. Let me tell you about what happened to me. So she was telling them. So she was, you know, on this little trick, right? And so the trick complains to her that she using too much teeth in her oral transaction. She like, oh, baby, ain't nobody ever called me toothy. So I don't know what the fuck you talking about. So he is up popping her ass in the face. She pops his ass right back. These hoes start fighting. They end up fighting down on up out the car. He on top of her, whooping her ass. The police pull up, see him beating her ass. They put her in the back of the car, put handcuffs on her, talk to him. He tells them that he was just giving her a ride. You was giving a, a hooker a ride, really? But they end up locking him, locking the, the prostitute, on Hostro, end up locking her up, taking her to Rikers Island. She said the first time she was in, the first night she was in there, she got beat up. Then one of the guards called himself looking out for her, would sneak her in wigs and makeup. That was only so he could pimp her out. So what she's saying is the system is basically against us. They ain't on our motherfucking side. So if we was to call the police right now and tell the police, hey, we got this guy that's over here dead. We ain't did the shit though. Bitch, it don't matter. You're still going to fucking jail. So like she tells her, I can't do it, but I know a bitch that can. Also, Electra tells Blanca, because they kind of share a moment for a minute, right? Blanca's like, look, you are my mother and I'm worried about you. And I'm, I, 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 I can't help but not to want to be involved and help you. And Electra tells her, you are my daughter and I don't want you to be nowhere else involved in this. So what I'm going to need for you to do, I know this is your house, but I need you to go to your room. Because I don't need you to bear witness to nothing else. I don't need you to see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, none of that evil. I don't even want you to be involved in this shit. I don't even want you to have to testify against my motherfucking ass. So she sends her all to her room which is I don't bitch I don't want shit to do with that either but you my dog though I help you get rid of the body though so Candy and Electra end up going to see the cleanup woman I think they call her I think her name was Euphoria right so at first she was funny uh, she was funny as hell this little uh, little um uh old Hispanic queen her accent, all that was funny as fuck. I can't even think of off the top of my head some shit she was saying, but it was funny as hell, right? So, basically, they go to her. They call her the fucking cleanup woman. Because, see, this bitch was doing illegal botched um, surgeries and shit. You know, like the lips and the fake asses and cheeks and all of that. And so, rude word on the curb was when she had a girl that died, when she was doing surgery on her, she got rid of her body. So, now everybody knows to come to her when they got to get rid of some shit. And so, at first, she's like, oh, no, hell to the no, 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 because I don't fuck with you, Candy. And if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with your home, girl. But Electra's like, look here. 
money talking bullshit walk. So how much you gonna need? Cause uh, we we gonna have to do this. So of course she was like, all right, well um. I just need to know how big he is because I need to know how big of a suitcase to bring. And I'm like, oh, shit, y'all finna go do some shit. Real quick, though, I thought it was cute. Poppy and Blanca had a little moment right before they was finna go have dinner. She was saying how she was like, I, I, don't, I just don't know if I want to get into a relationship with you or whatever because I'm just so scared because, you know, i just been done wrong or whatever in the past. And so I just don't want nobody doing me like that. And so he like, girl, you know you want this dick to play with me. <laughs> I just like to say that. But it was a cute little moment that they had or whatever. So he's just telling her, look, you ain't got to be afraid. Like, baby, we, we, I'm that nigga. <laughs> okay, so Electra, Candy, and Euphoria, the cleanup woman, right? They all over there at Electra's house, and they finna get rid of the body, right? And so Electra was crazy. It took a motherfucker to die hog tied with his legs to the moon and ass out for her to kind of soften up a little bit just a little bit though right and so she's like well can we at least pray over the body because i don't know what he did outside of the games we played but i'm sure he was a good guy because he was a good guy to me i mean hell he tipped well can we at least pray over the motherfucker so they end up praying over him or whatever so the plan is they're gonna put lie all over his body right tie him up like get him real tight in a fetal position and put put him in like this kind of, I don't know if it was lamb skin or whatever the hell it was, but the lie is supposed to keep the smell in. They're going to tie him up, sew him up real, real, real tight in a cocoon and keep him in a, in a, like in a chest in her closet. That's the, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's what they do. That shit is weird to me, but that's how they got rid of the damn body. They put a lie on him. They put him up in some kind of goddamn cocoon, and they they sewed his ass up in there, and she got him in her closet in in the back, and that shit was was crazy as hell to me right there. So um, Angel is getting ready for her date with Poppy, right? And so her and Dame, Dame is helping her like try on little outfits, or whatever, whatever that she's picking up. And so right when she's um trying on little outfits, getting ready for the date, the people from Ford Modeling call back, right? So they tell her, they call her back in. Miss Ford from Ford Models, Models calls her back in and they tell her like, hey, look, we got a gig for you. It's not with us, but it is for Wet n' Wild. I know you've heard of Wet n' Wild. I use the shit out of Wet n' Wild, even still now. Why you think this black don't crack and I finna get ready to be 39? <laughs> but so they tell her that, you know, we got this deal for you with uh, Wet n' Wild and we want you to be the new face of Wet n' Wild Cosmetics, right? So, Blanca's like, well, I mean, no, Angel's like, well, hell yeah, shit, what, you know, what, what you need me to do? I'm gonna hop right on that goddamn thing. Miss Ford gives her the address to the photo shoot for a wet and wild, because she basically tells her, like, you know, bitch, you late, you need to be there now. You want this gig, you need to get there right motherfucking me now. So, that's what she does. So, she goes over there, and she is... She's working it. She's working it. She's doing I'm so I'm so proud of Angel. Like she's somebody that I fucking know. But she gets in there and she kills it. She has on this beautiful I mean, everything she had on was cute as hell, right? So it's seven o'clock and it's time for her to go on her date with Poppy. And so she tells the photographer, like, oh shit, you know, it's time I gotta go. And he's like, Well, we got you booked until nine, so it's up to you. Are you trying to be a star or are you trying to be a social butterfly? So of course she loves Poppy, but she's trying to get this thing popping with this modeling thing, right? So she ends up staying and so she, you know, finishes her modeling gig or whatever. And so later on, she goes back to the house, and so she's telling Blanca and Damon about, you know, how she got this modeling gig, how she's supposed to be the new face of Wet n' Wild Cosmetics, and while she's telling them that, Poppy comes in. Poppy had been out there at that restaurant waiting on her ass the whole fucking time because he had asked her ass out on a date when they had that kiss in that park. I don't know if I said that or not, but when they kissed in the park, he had asked her out on a date. So he was supposed to go on a date with her that night, the same night that she was doing that modeling for Wet n' Wild, right? He was waiting outside the restaurant the whole fucking time. She never showed up. So, he ends up coming back to the house. And, you know, he kind of walks in. And you can see he's sad as hell. He's so sad. But he does tell Angel, like, congratulations. I'm proud of you. But at the same time, you fucked me up. Because you the girl of my dreams. Like, you, you, you all I've been waiting for. You all I've been wanting. But just know. That I'm going to prove to you. I'm going to be everything that I can be. To you. I'm going to prove to you that I'm going to be the man that's going to take care of you. Poppy. Woo! Poppy.
Poppy was doing it for me this episode. I'm sorry he was. I was like, Zim, Zanny. Poppy was doing it. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. So, Blanca and Electra end up meeting, you know, because Blanca wants to check on Electra. She's like, hey, bitch, some shit went down. I just want to make sure that you okay. You don't need anything from me. Let me know what's good, because, bitch, you know I got your back. And so, um... Electra's telling her, like, you know, I'm I'm okay since everything happened. I'm not good, but I'm okay. She says, she tells her that, you know, I got him all wrapped up in a cocoon in my closet. So, I know he's there, and his body is there, and his body's going to be with me for the rest of my life. Now, bitch, no, not me. Eventually, you're going to have to get rid of that fucking body, Electra. I'm sorry, but that body can't stay in a trunk in your closet. I don't give a goddamn how much live perm you got on his ass back there. He can't stay in there. That shit is just fucking creepy. It's creepy as hell. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't keep his... Don't, don't, don't. The episode ends where Blanca, Poppy, um, Damon, and Angel, they all go to the little, like, little drugstore or whatever, and voila... Blanca is no, it's not Blanca. I keep saying Blanca. I don't know why I keep confusing Blanca and Angel. But while I Angel is the face of Wet n Wild Cosmetics, and she looks like the bomb, and I'm so excited for her. And so she's finally gonna make it big, like she's been wanting to do. And so I'm so proud of Angel. And so the episode pretty much ended there. I think that it is watch worthy. Of course, my review hit on all the major important points, but again, it's watch worthy just so you can see that part of when they trying to get rid of that body girl because it was funny as fuck to me. Let me know what y'all thought about this review. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, comments. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala!